Hello, I'm Richard Hooper and this is Sat TV Week. Now I'm pleased to be joined by David Andre of Santander Teleport. David, thank you for joining us today. Um, Santander Teleport, tell me a little bit more about your involvement in the military sector. Okay, yeah, sure, uh, Richard. Well, um, what we're doing, uh, we have been doing for the last uh, couple of years, um, we have been, we're working uh, with satellite operators and particularly with service providers that are providing services to a number of uh, governments. In particular, we have been working with the U.S. government for a few years now through a couple of very well-known uh, service providers. Uh, we have also done uh, other, other missions, I would say, uh, satellite communication missions for other European and South American uh, governments. Uh, very recently, we are very happy to announce that we have uh, very recently won a, a big contract for, for the uh, Spanish uh, Ministry of Defense to provide uh, welfare services for all the troops that are deployed in, uh, in Africa, Middle East and, and East Europe. So uh, through our use of C-Bank, KU-Bank and X-Bank capacities at the teleport, uh, we are, uh, we are, you know, we are very well prepared to offer to provide a, a very good wide range of offering to this uh, this sector. Now, for many years, the military sector went quite quiet. It seems to be picking up again, unfortunately, in some cases. Um, how do you see that developing over the next 12 months? Well, it's always very hard to tell uh, because it's all very dependent, obviously, on government budgets. As you say, unfortunately, uh, the world seems to be a little more, slightly more shaking than it was uh, before, um, and, and there are, you know, there are prospects that that could, you know, increase the amount of uh, services required by, you know, a number of governments to, you know, to to provide. Uh, uh, to enhance the communications in different mission areas. Uh, we believe that there's probably going to be growth in the next few months, but it's very hard to predict how much or when that growth is really going to start. Uh, for the time being, uh, we, have been in, we have been increasing uh, the amount of services uh, uh, at our teleport in this uh, market ourselves. Uh, we believe that we'll, there will be probably in the next 12 months uh, be coming with another, another project, hopefully. Now, tell me, why have Santander been chosen? What is the expertise that you offer? Okay, so, as I say, from an infrastructure point of view, we offer both C-Bank, KU-Bank services like most teleports would do, but we also have a license to operate uh, in X-Band, which is a very, it's a, a very, a band very exclusive to, to the uh, to government services, uh, in part, and in particular, but not only the military. So, so having that infrastructure in place allows us to, to, to be a good, a good teleport of choice for, for different kind of uh, services provided to, to the governments. But we're also, we're also working very hard in terms of our quality procedures and our quality accreditations to bring up the teleport to a level of uh, security, safety and reliability that are required by a lot of these customers. Now, I was going to say, military, their security requirements are different to everybody else's. How do you ensure that the transmissions and the network cannot be hacked? Okay, so we have certain infrastructures are the teleport, which uh, I can't talk in a lot of detail about them for, uh, for certain reasons, but uh, they are basically designed to protect the equipment uh, that is basically hosted uh, at the teleport. Um, that is uh, certain requirements that you know uh, this kind of customers will have. Uh, but we, and we also have um, one of the one of the main uh, things that uh, some of these government customers have seen in us is the value add that we are providing through uh, very highly qualified personnel that can uh, provide uh, uh, that can effectively uh, be, be prepared to offer uh, custom solutions not just for the services but also for some of the equipment that is deployed uh, deployed uh, in some of these missions well david interesting times and hopefully an update in four or five months and we'll find out how it has developed well uh, that will be hopefully i will be able to bring some uh, more uh, good news touch wood and um, i will be very happy to talk to you guys again